Oh man, all right, all right. So earlier today, yo, first of all, what's up, YouTube? I hope y'all having a blessed day today. It, it is your boy, Damn D P O V, and we are back with another video now. Just to let y'all know, all my reactions are live. Okay, I don't do pre, I don't read these articles while I'm reading it with you. I'm reading it for the first time. So every single video that y'all watch is a live reaction. All right. I don't pre-rehearse, pre-read, nothing. I just see the headlines, click click on it, open up a few tabs, and hit the record button, all right? So, um, earlier today, I had posted a video about her, and allegedly, it seems like from the articles that I read, from the research that I read, she was in fear of getting old. She felt like, society doesn't treat women older women the same and she cringed at the thought of turning 30 coincidentally she died at 30 or was it 31 i, I think it was 30 but go watch my last video okay because I, I literally just posted a video if you have not watched my video you have to watch that video before you watch this one because i you're it will make more sense okay so i just posted this video one hour ago shocking update <clears throat> allegedly she killed herself because she was getting old okay so in that video you will see me highlight different quotes different um past past articles that she wrote uh i think she opened up in the interview saying that she uh you know she doesn't want to get old you know she feels like society doesn't accept older women um then she refers to social media talking about um she looks like a man because she's muscular because she's in shape so a lot of insecurities you know uh which is kind of weird right because looking at a beautiful woman like this you wouldn't think that she has insecurities and she had a body to not no pun intended but she had a body to die for no pun intended no disrespect but she had an amazing body like she was in shape she had a six pack matter of fact i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you her instagram like she she had an amazing body uh and even even someone with a beautiful face amazing body six-pack abs still have insecurity you you wouldn't know that she had insecurities looking from looking at her pictures but that is the conclusion that i drawn right because she referred to her cringing about getting 30 about turning 30 now we have official um discovery on why is this goddamn thing so big god damn why is this shit so big now we have different videos um explaining that maybe she really did commit suicide all right so um this is a video a tribute video Police say that she was 30 years old, jumped to her death <clears throat> from a Manhattan apartment. Just before she posted, um, just before she died, she posted this Instagram post. <clears throat> This is people reacting to her. Okay. That's not saying nothing. All right. Um, the cause of death was rude of suicide. The New York. Let me turn this down a little bit. Um, she died after she jumped from the 29th. She, hold on. She jumped from the 29th floor of the 60, 60 story building in the apartment on sunday morning her body was found on the sidewalk outside um this is just quotes from other people F 
from these articles, it's saying that it was no foul play. The says the medical examinator. All right. Um, there's another video. Real quick. All right. So this is a, another video from MSN. Um, it says that she was on a higher elevation of the, the 60th floor on a condominium. Seven, okay, so they just saying the same stuff. I'm trying to see if they're gonna actually like tell us any more information. Um, the police spokesman said that she lived on, on the ninth floor, appeared to be suicide. The examinators, I don't know if y'all can see that. Nah, y'all can't see that. So they just copy and pasting a lot of this stuff. Yeah, they just copy and pasting a lot of this stuff. Um. So it's saying. Days after the tragic passing go. of former Miss USA, Chesley Christ, the official cause of death of the former Miss USA has been revealed. The New York City Office of Chief Medical Examiner confirms to People Magazine that Chris died by suicide, Damn. according to the autopsy. Per CNN, the 30-year-old beauty queen suffered multiple blunt impact injuries. Chesley Damn. was also a lawyer and extra TV correspondent. An NYPD spokesperson previously told E! News Chris fell from a, quote, higher elevation of a 60-story condominium in New York City Damn. just after 7 a.m. on Sunday, January 30th, and was pronounced dead at the scene. Following her death, her family said in a statement to Extra, in devastation and great <sighs> sorrow, we share the passing of our beloved Chesley. Her great light was one that inspired others around the world with her beauty and strength. She cared, she loved, mm. she laughed, and she shined. In the days since Chesley's death, several celebrities took to social media to pay tribute to the rising star. Chris's friend Kenya Moore said that she was devastated when she heard what had happened. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star, who was a former Miss USA herself, said on Instagram, we were always texting and talking and in constant contact, laughing and sharing. She was a glorious human being and so sweet and caring. I just can't deal with this. Damn. She made me so proud to call her my sister and the world proud, a true role model. I looked up to her. Miss USA. Mm. Too many people suffer in silence. If you are struggling, I beg you to say something. Rest in power, my sweet sister. The Miss Universe and Miss USA organizations also released a statement January 30th saying they were devastated to learn about the loss of Chesley, who took home the crown in the Miss USA pageant. <sighs> Man, that is that is crazy to to think a woman like that um, will be suffering from insecurity. You know, she's probably one of the most beautiful women and even she has insecurity. Days after the tragic passing of former Miss U Days after the tragic passing of former uh, so I guess that's it. I guess that's it, man. Um the cause of death was actually suicide. That's what the police said. Um unless there's any more information that's what we got to roll with man um at the end of the day this is a testament that trolling people online is not as funny as you think it is you leaving comments telling people they look ugly telling people this and telling people that like your life is perfect you know it's, it's it's crazy that people feel like they need to troll others just to make themselves feel good right like they're perfect nobody in this world is perfect nobody in this world is perfection nobody has it all together even if you're beautiful inside you still may be hurting inside and believe it or not some people let the internet get to them you know it is what it is you know uh i mean everything eventually gets to you but it's how you handle it you know what i mean like reading comments sometimes you just sit there and you look at your phone and you're like bro what are you talking about like why would you say some stupid shit like people in the comments be saying some weird trust me i didn't seen it all 
<laughs> I done seen all the troll comments, all the hate comments. You this, you ugly, you got big eyes. But trust me, I hear it all the time. And it, and it doesn't phase me because I'm used to it. But at times, when I read my comments and people be saying like, I'm just like, bro, do you really feel like that? There, there is no way you can have that much hate, that much anger towards someone that you don't even know. Content, content creators, all we do is just post videos and we give y'all our opinions. Like, my channel is damn POV. I just give you my point of view of whatever I see. And people take my, my opinion like it's the truth. No, I'm just giving you my opinion. I'm not saying I'm the, I'm the in, like, what I say goes. No, I'm just giving you my opinion, how I feel. And some people be taking that to heart like it's the Bible or something, you know? So, this is more of a lesson. Hold on. Let me see what she said on here. Is this video going to play? There are a lot of reasons I don't want to practice law anymore, but here are three. Number one, I just really like what I do now. I'm a correspondent and TV host. I work on extra, and so I get to interview really interesting people all the time. Like just in the last few weeks, some of the people I interviewed were Denzel Washington, Mariah Carey, and Alicia Keys, and they were all so nice. I was a correspondent at Miss Universe in December and in May. I do speaking engagement. And so part of it is just, I really love the stuff that I do now. My second reason is billable hours are trash. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it there. If y'all really want to know about billable hours, just let me know and I'll make a separate video. But it's, it's a lot and it's a big reason. My third reason is just the general lack of diversity in the legal profession and the constant microaggressions because of it. Now that can be said about a lot of different industries, but for some reason it just felt worse in the legal profession. For example, I remember once walking into a deposition, which is basically just like a formal interview of a person. So I'm a lawyer interviewing somebody on the record. And the court reporter was sitting in the room when I walked in, I think she was the only one there. And uh, I walk in and sit down. She's like, do you know when the lawyers are getting here? Well, I'm here, so the lawyers are here. And I think what made me the most upset about that last instance was like, I, wa I walk into this room with my suit on and this giant bag full of documents that I then start taking out of my bag so I can ask the person I'm uh, deposing about this information. I'm like, what client or lay person <laughs> walks into a deposition with all this stuff? They walk in with themselves and Jesus. That's it. And it's not just me with these experiences. Like if you look up Brian Stevenson, who was the lawyer that Michael B. Jordan played in that movie, Just Mercy, Brian Stevenson, he had the same thing or he had a similar thing happen to him where he walked into a courtroom and a judge was like, sir, you don't need to be sitting at counsel table without your lawyer. And he's like, um, your honor, I, I'm the lawyer. It's kind of crazy just sitting there and just watching that video, you don't think she's suffering through anything. You know what I mean? Like looking at that video, you would think that she got it made, smart, beautiful, intelligent, making money, good job, educated. You wouldn't think that she has any type of doubt insecurities nothing damn that's crazy you you really don't know what people are going through like you truly don't know what people are going through damn that is crazy bro so um the autopsy report it was it was suicide wow There's nothing else to say, but um, you know, just just for the audience out there, you know, just just for the audience out there, just just be mindful, right? Be mindful. 
just because you see a a certain number of subscribers someone has just because you see a certain number of followers they have don't mean that they're a robot you know at the end of the day they are just like you i know that sounds so so bland so you know cliche but it's the truth there's nobody special like we are all the same we just have different gifts and different talents but just because somebody have a large following a large youtube channel a lot large it Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, social media presence. Just because someone has a large social media presence doesn't mean they're not a human. Human, we all have emotions. We have our ups and downs. And we have our insecurities. And why y'all thinking it's funny and y'all be typing like, uh, let me talk about how she looks or how he looks. Oh, look at D. He has big eyes. Oh, he fucks up when he talks. Oh, he says words backwards and shit. Oh, D doesn't know how does it. Y'all think that's funny. But just imagine how, if, how it would feel if you was the actual person being made fun of. It's always fun until you're the person that's being made fun of and then now you feel sad you want to cry you want to do something to yourself so just think about that the next time y'all you know just decide to leave something negative to say I, I, I it's it's weird right it's weird because i really can't recall I'm not gonna say that I've never done it, but if I did, it was probably in my teens. I cannot recall watching something that I didn't like and left a comment. Why would you take the energy to tell somebody, someone that you don't like them? I, I've, I've never done that. Now, do I make videos? Yeah, but I give my point of view, like this is, this is what I do, you know what I mean? But not just on a, like, if I wasn't doing YouTube, if I had just a regular nine to five job and I was watching YouTube, I would just watch YouTube. I wouldn't leave comments or I wouldn't leave negative comments. If I just want to give my input on the situation, then I would do that. But I, I honestly cannot recall the last time I wrote a negative comment in somebody's social media. If I don't like what I see, I just click out. I don't feel the need to talk down on them, tell them how they look. I'm sure they know how they look. Not everybody is perfect. Everybody don't have perfect skin and perfect eyes and perfect teeth and perfect hair and perfect skin. Like. It, it's, it's weird it's weird man um but even when you are perfect you can still have you can still have insecurities and the internet just allows people just to troll <laughs> so yeah man so if there's one thing that we can all learn from this just be mindful of the stuff that you tell people be mindful of the comments that you leave people because that shit does you know affect what people brain sometimes it ruins people days because we as content creators we just giving y'all you know entertainment and if y'all don't like it you can voice your you can voice your opinion without being disrespectful that's the thing People feel like they need to disrespect, be rude, be mean. I mean, not everybody's going to like you, of course, but you don't have to be mean about it. You ain't got to tell them that they a piece of shit and they deserve to die because you don't have the same opinion as them. Like what? 
Just because we don't agree, you want me to die and I'm a piece of shit and I'm a whole ass nigga? So, RIP to this young lady. Once again, if there's anything that we can take from this, just be mindful. Just be mindful of the stuff that you tell people because you never know what they're going through. No matter how they present themselves online, online is online. <laughs> what matters is what happened when you put that phone down. How do you really feel about yourself? How, how do you really feel about yourself when you put that phone down, when you turn that laptop off, when you're in the room by yourself with no one around? How do you really feel? Damn. It is what it is, man. Is going ultra, and so is our best it is what it is, man. So other than that, y'all leave a comment down below and y'all let me know um, how y'all feel about this situation. It's your boy, Damn DPOV. I'm signing out, man. Peace.